Day 51 of 365, today we're being asked to step out of our rigid ideas of this third dimensional reality. Here we go. Namaste, welcome everyone. Day 51 of 365, A Life of Bliss, 365. One quote every day from the book, A Life of Bliss, The Living Transmission, channels through this one from our dear friends and teachers, non-physical collective consciousness, Ananda, here to assist humanity in our remembering of who we are and why we are here. And today we are talking about the rigidness and to step out of the rigidness of our third dimensional reality. So we are streaming on Rumble and posting videos on Rumble. So if you check out Rumble, you can uh, search Martin McNichol and you could find the post there. And we'll get right into this post for day 51. Quote, post. <laughs> we invite you to step out for this moment, this sacred moment. Step out of your rigid ideas, of your third dimensional reality, of length, of breadth, of height. Step out for a moment, this sacred moment of your perceived location. And expand your awareness into your perceived space as this space. We invite you to see, feel, sense and know that you were never bound. You can never be bound. You are not fixed. There need be no fixing. You can be anywhere within the realm of time that you choose. You can choose to shift your experience of what you know of as your space in a way that allows it to be experienced from the inside out, from the outside in, from below and from above. And so today on day 51, we continue this theme in chapter four of the esoteric of the stepping beyond the bounds of physicality and stepping out of the rigid belief systems, the rigid ideas. And here they use the analogy of length, breadth and height of, of three dimensions, like this, the box reality, what we can see, what we can feel, what we can taste, what we can touch. And that is what we're taught and conditioned and actually what our senses give us as what reality is. But there is so much more and they're inviting us here as always, to step out of what is normal, step out of what is seems obvious and step into the unknown as the unknown and expand into what we call space as the space. So we're expanding as the space. We're not going somewhere. We're expanding our awareness into what we perceive as separate from us, into that which is not separate from us, never was separate from us. And so this contemplation today can be practical. We can really begin to practicalize this spirituality. And so this message comes from a grounding in non-duality, in the absolute awareness. But it's making practical, making practicality out of non-duality. Knowing that there is only one, knowing that there is just what is and simultaneously while in these bodies while focused in this physical form while in this dream dreaming the greatest dream that we can dream being the highest vision that we can see and that which we cannot see and reaching beyond that which we can't see diving into the unknown taking a step without knowing that there's something to hold us jumping 
before we know where we will land. So this is the contemplation for today. Again, it's moving into the esoteric, the multidimensional, the potentialities of this relative reality. So again, don't give this to your mind. This is not for your mind. This is nourishment for your soul and music for your heart, not food for thought. <laughs> so again, follow us on Rumble. Check Martin McNichol on Rumble. We're posting all the videos and we'll begin live streaming um, because back when this kind of journey of being aware of the expanded versions of ourselves, um, the information that was coming through me was just non-stop. It's about eight years ago now, seven years ago. And at that point, there was like times where it would just like come out of me at crazy times. And that's actually beginning to happen again because I've moved into a new level of embodiment more access to who we all are let's say and because i've had a year where there hasn't been such an outlet for that it's just happening spontaneously when i'm sat having dinner with my wife and so so the, at the very beginning there i didn't have my son it was just with my wife and this there is a like a like there's a calling there's a, just a bursting of energy to be expressed so, yeah, I'm really being called to give that an outlet again. <clears throat> Whatever form that takes, we will see. But I am being called to um, open that. So you can join the conversation at Telegram. On I gave the wrong address on the last day because we've changed it. It's t.me forward slash Martin747. Not Martin, I am anymore. Uh, Martin747 on Telegram. <clears throat> and again, check out the Rumble channel. And until next time. No, not until next time. We nearly didn't do our silent sit. So, this time, in no time, we go into a short silent sitting where we disappear, I disappear. We just be with what is. Allowing what is to be as what is. So thank you for joining this living transmission, this life of bliss that you are, that we are, that is alive within us every day, every moment, every breath. And we will continue this journey every day. See you tomorrow. Until next time, from my heart to yours. The divine in me sees, honors and loves the divine in you. Namaste. We are. Hmm.